it's so gloomy outside in LA and I was thinking about just getting in bed and reading but then I thought how I haven't updated you guys on a list of reading material for 2021 so that's what we're doing here today time to read here's our book club hello my loves and welcome back to my channel if you're new I'm Leora Alexandra welcome to the baby elephant community on this channel we talk about the law of attraction spirituality self-development and so much more and today I just wanted to give you guys a breakdown of six or seven I don't remember what I have on this list six or seven let's say six books that you should be reading in 2021 for all different areas of your life, for creativity, for self-development, for self-care, understanding ourselves and others better. And this time, for the first time ever, I've actually broken down my categories and I recommend you a book in each category. So we have over here a recommendation for spirituality, astrology, esoteric knowledge, fiction, I can't, fiction, non-fiction or biography, and self-development. So this is going to be fun and what I want to ask of you is if you're already reading a book this year or if you have your own book list, please comment them down below. I'm always looking for new books and so is everybody in this community. We're such readers over here and if you're not a reader, if you prefer to listen to your audiobooks, do that as well. I literally listen to an audiobook every single day. I go on a walk, I do 10,000 steps and I listen to an audiobook so I can get my books in and then I read at night. And speaking of audiobooks, what a natural transition to today's sponsor, one of my favorites, Audible. Audible is the leader of spoken word entertainment. If you're not familiar with Audible already, they offer a range of audiobooks and spoken word entertainment that ranges from bestsellers to new releases to celebrity memoirs, self-development, languages, business, motivation, and so much more. If you're an Audible member, you get one credit every month and that's good for any title in the entire premium selection of bestsellers and new releases and you get to keep it forever, okay? forever. Like I was saying, I use Audible every single day and I have many of the books that I'm about to recommend to you as an audiobook as well because I sometimes like to sit down and read a book and sometimes I like to listen to it. Sometimes I fall asleep listening to some of them as I'll let you know in a second. And because Audible is sponsoring this video, you get a free audiobook that you can keep forever by visiting audible.com slash Lior or texting Lior to 500 500. I'll link that in the description below for you. That's audible.com slash Lior or text Lior to 500 500. So I highly recommend getting one of the books that I'm about to recommend to you. The Tools of Titans is your first free book. They just added it pretty recently. I remember I looked for it last year and they didn't have it. So I'm really excited about it. And it's like 20 hours worth of audiobooks. So this is great entertainment. And right now, Audible is giving members even more with their new Plus catalog, which gives members access to a selection of thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, sleep tracks for better rest, and more, all included with your membership. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring this video. So let's get into my list for 2021. So there's going to be six or seven books on here. Really good to do, you know, one book every couple of months if you are... Uh, somebody who likes to take their time with books. I personally read a few books a week, so there's that. That's why I have audiobooks and, you know, all these other apps. The first book I'm going to mention is one that I know I've talked about before, but seeing as it's one of my favorites, I want to recommend it again so that everybody can hear it in the back. And that book, if you aren't already familiar, is The Seed of the Soul by Gary Zukov. This book is an, basically an illustration of how mankind is evolving from a species of five senses that really seeks for external power, for power from outside of ourselves. And we're evolving into a species that is multi-sensory and that gets our power from spirit. The seat of the soul, it's going to give you context and meaning to your spiritual journey. I was listening to it and reading it while I was going through my third eye awakening a couple years ago now in 2019, and it gave me so much relief. It felt familiar. It felt like, oh, this is information that I already knew, but I needed to remember. This is the audiobook that I like to fall asleep to also. So I have it as um, a, a physical book and an audiobook, and I will often put it, when I was going through insomnia in 2019, I would fall asleep to this book because it was so comforting to me. So the seat of the soul was our spirituality pick for this year. For astrology, I want to recommend, I don't know if I've ever spoken about this book before, it's The Inner Sky, How to Make Wiser Choices for a More Fulfilling Life. This is by Stephen Forrest, who has a lot of amazing books about astrology. 
This is one of the first books I ever read about astrology and it made the archetypes and the energies that play out in the cosmos so accessible to me. It made them so non-threatening. It's like you read this book and you're just kind of immersed in the mythos of all of it. So the book introduces the basic astrological concepts such as signs, planets, houses, and aspects, and then it pulls them together in a way that makes it easy to understand for beginners like I was and for advanced astrologers as well. So if you're looking to understand more about the cosmos, about yourself, about other people, this is the book, this is where you should start for sure. Now for our esoteric pick, I want to offer a book that I just finished reading that, you know, I've been hearing about this book for years. I've been hearing about the Monroe Institute for years as an avid astral projector. Um, I've been meaning to read it and I finally did and it's amazing, mind boggling. That book is Journeys Out of the Body by Robert Monroe. Uh, this is an account of his literal journeys out of his body during astral projection. He was kind of thrown into this whole astral projection world and then made it his life really to explore these other dimensions, these other realities. And what he recounted in a very scientific and researched way with all of his peers who are all in science, who are doctors and psychiatrists, is mind-boggling and there's no real explanation for it. Also, a lot of other people... Uh, back up his claims and have experienced what he's experienced. I myself have also experienced some of the things that he details in this book. It's insane. So if you're interested in astral projection, in what happens to our soul maybe after death, what happens when we fall asleep, do we exist as more than just our physical body? This is the book for you. This is going to blow your mind wide open. This gave my own personal experience um, with astral projection a lot more context and meaning as well. So if that's something that you've been looking for, it's gonna save you for real. Next, we have our fiction book, which as I was looking for the name of the author of this book, I find out that it's not actually fiction. It's apparently a true story. However, it read so much like fiction, that's why I put it under this fiction. It's an amazing book and I highly recommend it. And because it's not really fiction, I'll do an honorable mention for another spiritual fiction book. But this book is Spirit Walker Messages from the Future. And it turns out that it's a, um, a spiritual autobiography, which is cool. Um, it's by Hank Wesselman. It's basically the story of this scientist who begins to encounter something unexplainable. Now that I'm thinking about it, the story is very similar to Robert Monroe's story, but in a different time, in a different place, um, and really experienced different things and brought back a lot of messages from his journeys out of the body and outside of time and space. He details his encounters with the spirit world, really, in this book. So I totally thought that was fiction, but it's not, so now I'm going to have to reread it with this new information in mind. For a spiritual fiction book, however, I highly recommend the book The Celestine Prophecy, which I know I've spoken about in depth on this channel. I will recommend it again. It was actually one of the books that when I tried to start a book club last year, we that was going to be one of the books that we were going to read. I really recommend reading that this year if you haven't already. Even though it's fiction, it's the insights in this book taught me more about life and how to navigate the human experience than many of these other nonfiction books. So the story is about an ancient manuscript that holds nine key insights into life. And these insights are basically meant for humans to discover on their own, like in a chronological order kind of thing. And as the main character navigates through his adventures in the book, the insights are illustrated in miraculous ways. I learned so much from this book and it's really entertaining too. Next, I have a nonfiction or a biography and the one that I chose for 2021 that I think is so important. I'm rereading it this year. Very excited to reread it with new perspective and new, you know, understanding and awareness. And that book is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. So I believe it's really crucial, it's really important to read nonfiction biographical content. This is the best way to learn from people's direct experiences and people who are interesting and important enough that they were able to have a book written about them or they wrote their own book and it was became a classic, such as um, last year I read Malcolm X's biography, which was incredibly enlightening. It was such, I highly recommend that book as well. But this year I'm returning to this book um, it's going to be really hard to read for many people because it is 
Harrowing, how it describes basically what it is to explain. Um, it's a psychiatrist's memoir and his experience of life in a Nazi death camp um, and the spiritual lessons he had to learn in order to survive. This book is an absolute must for humanity to understand itself better because from this book, Viktor Frankl came up with his uh, theory known as logotherapy, which uh, what it says is basically that our primary drive in life is not to seek pleasure, but to seek meaning, to be discovering and pursuing what we personally find to be meaningful. And this is how he was able to survive the atrocious psychological trauma and uh, abuse that came with being in a Nazi death camp. It's a classic and an extremely important read and I would actually value it above all else on this list. The last book that I want to recommend is in the self-development category and that is Tools of Titans. It is one of the best. I have it now as an audiobook because it just came out as an audiobook. It wasn't there last year and I have it um, on my Kindle. Literally, you can open this book to any page and find so much inspiration here. So basically, it's um, written by Tim Ferriss. He's the author of The 4-Hour Workweek. He has a podcast in which he interviews the top minds in every field, the people who are the absolute best in their fields, the top world-class performers. And he shares with us the tools, the tactics, and advice from these world-class performers. So like I said, opening it to any page will light a fire under your butt. It is so inspirational. You're going to get morning routines and the top tips of the people that you might look up to, that I definitely look up to um, and want to emulate, what these people are reading, what they eat, how they work out, how they spend their leisure time, who they you know, spend their time with, how they made it to where they are. It's just really a treasure trove of information. And I really recommend getting that as an audio book if you're gonna get the free Audible trial because it's usually like $44 or something like that. The audio book is 22 hours, so you might as well get that for free with my Audible trial and you get access to that forever. You have lifetime access to it. Even if you cancel your trial, you can still have access to the book. So I just used one of my credits this month for this book and I'm really excited to start listening to it again. It's so inspirational. You should be working out while you're listening to it or do, you know, cleaning the house or going on a walk or whatever it is that, you, that you're doing, painting while listening to this. It's going to just level you up in every area of your life. So these are my top, I don't know how many I recommended. I feel like between six to eight books I probably recommended. These are books that I highly recommend reading this year in 2021. Reading books is just going to amplify your life in every way. It is the best way to gather information that you could actually use in your real life. You can bring that wisdom and the knowledge from other people who have been in other situations and apply it into your physical reality and your spiritual world as well. So I hope you enjoyed these and please let me know what books you're reading this year. Um, if you like any of these books, maybe, you know, give a review of some of them so everyone looking through the comments can see whether they're interested in them or not. And please give this video a thumbs up if you want more content about books I'm reading. Um, I'd love to do book reviews and things like that, but uh, I can only do that if I know that you're into it. So I love you. Thank you for spending some time here with me today. Happy reading and until next time. Keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye. <laughs>